What is wrong with this thing? Maybe it's the distributor cap. Do you even know where the distributor cap is? Sure, right here. <laughs> Rodney, why did you take that out of my truck? I got show and tell today. Give me that. Well, I need it. I need it too. I had it first. It's my truck. Families are supposed to share things. Don't make me share my belt. It's big enough. Oh, that's it. It's so hard to say goodbye to Zoe in the mornings. I guess every dad feels that way. <laughs> I am going to kill you. Yeah, but today's a really important day at work. I'm going head to head with Walcott. Good luck. I don't need luck. I've got the superior proposal. Get this, Walcott thinks inventory should be used as a debit. You can't let him do that. I won't. <laughs> You're not being sarcastic, are you? No. Okay. I wanted to have a baby. Hi, Melinda. Come on in, I already poured. No coffee for me today. Can you guess why? You had another heart murmur? Yeah, but that's not the main reason. I'm going to work! Work? The court ruled that the kindergarten can't keep Shelby out just because he looks like he's gonna kill somebody. He's gotta actually do it. Oh my gosh, who am I gonna talk to all day? I'll miss you too, Wanda. But this is my chance to get out in the world. Make my mark. Carve my niche in the edifice of time. What are you gonna do? Sell knickknacks. Bye! Hi. Random fragment resin. Oh. Good morning, Miss McPherson. Here's your coffee, and the board is waiting for you. Thanks, Jeffrey. London needs an answer by noon. Tell them they'll have it by 10. Wanda, did you see Caroline in this city last night? Oh, the sexual tension between her and that gay guy. <laughs> Wanda, I just read your latest report, and I can say without fear of contradiction that you have an unlimited future. Unlimited future. Unlimited future. I think that butt's powdered, Mrs. Mack. Oh, sorry, Zoe. I was just remembering how much I enjoyed work. The challenges, the camaraderie. Starting to resent being stuck at home, huh? Maybe a little. So, how much you got in your getaway fund? My what? You know, for when you leave Mr. Mac. I'm not leaving Daryl. Yeah, my mom fooled herself for a couple years, too. Trust me, that resentment doesn't go away. It just turns into back fat. Now, my advice is to get out while you can still hook a half-decent boyfriend. Busy. And when you hire a lawyer, forget percentage. Flat fee. And don't sleep with him. Hey, Captain. Kenny, what happened? Did the board go with my proposal or Walcott's? Wow, you're really anxious to know this. Come on, tell me. What an exquisite feeling of power to hold another man's life in your hands. Could you stop being a jerk for one minute? And interrupt our delicious cat and mouse game? No, I think I'll go on playing the puppeteer. Hey, congrats, Daryl. Aw, oh, man. What, I won? They chose mine? Yeah. Woohoo! Yes! I beat Walcott! I'm finally standing out from the middle management pack. The new millennium is saving a seat for men like you. Guys like Walcott are 20th century. 20th century limited. Damn straight. You're not being sarcastic, are you? No. Okay. Welcome to the Knickknack Niche. Do you like the name? It's very clever. Yeah, my grandpa had three big K's carved on his tombstone. I never knew what it meant, but it's always been a pleasant association. Uh-huh. Well, uh, what are these? Novelty clamshells. See? There's Professor Clamshell, mm. Sheriff Clamshell, oh. Millionaire Clamshell, mm. Kaiser Clamshell, oh. and the Archbishop of Clamptonbury. It's gonna be murder keeping these on the shelves. <laughs> oh, desk plaques. These are cute. I wish I was drinking. <laughs> it's funny because it's a hurtful exaggeration. I'm excited for you, Melinda. But I miss hanging out with you. Why don't you work here? I need someone to put on the clamshell suit and stand by the curb. Actually, I've got my own idea for a business. What is it? Oh, it's silly. Okay, forget it. No, I'll tell you. All day while I'm taking care of Zoe, the one thing I want more than anything else is a nap. And I was thinking, if there was a place where tired moms could buy robot replicas of themselves, that's brilliant. No, if there was a place where tired moms could take a nap. While they're building the robots? There are no robots. Oh, well, it's still a good idea. And don't worry, your day will come. You really think so? Sure. Another decade or two of squeezing our kids and babysitting them through the nightmare years, and you'll be right back in the game. What a great day. 
Wait till I tell Wanda. The boss accepted my inventory plan. And that's just how it's gonna be. The boss accepted my inventory plan. You just couldn't wait, could you? Wait for what? To remind me of what an exciting, dynamic life you have at work while I'm stuck here. You know, you have no idea of the painful choices a mother has to make. Was Maya Angelou on Oprah again? Shut up. I gave up a successful career to raise our child. But we agreed Zoe should have one parent at home. So it automatically has to be me? I had brains, Ow. talent, Ow. drive! Are we near the end of the list? I'm bruising up. Excuse me for putting a roof over your head. That's what I should have said. I would have shut her up. Shut her up good. Hey, Mr. McPherson. Hi, Rodney. Rough day, huh? Little glass of the sweet and cool smooth you out. That's a real good idea. Let me guess. Trouble with the wife? How'd you know? Married man's like a little boy taking a pee. Barely holding on. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. I read it on a plaque in my mom's store. Now, I bust my hump every day at work to make a better life for my family, and suddenly I'm the bad guy. I hear that. So what kind of stuff do you make at your work? Well, I don't actually make anything. That's the level below me. So you're the guy who calls the shots? No, that's the level above me. I'm middle management. What does middle management do? Well, that's pretty complicated, little man. Try me. Well, we review the work of others, make sure quotas are met, ratios are in order, respond to the needs of the higher-ups, delegate where necessary, initial memos in the inbox, put them in the outbox. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure it's more important than it sounds. Drink up! Though he worked himself into an early grave, Daryl McPherson's life was a rich and bountiful one. The sorrow felt by the daughter he saw so little of will surely be eased when she reads this memo, documenting his many accomplishments in middle management. If you could just give this a once over, an initial here, done. Nine one one, Captain Walcott's pulling an end run on your company-wide earnings amortization proposal. Who cares? Huh? Amortization, depreciation, cost accounting. When you look back on your life, does any of it really matter? Uh, Captain, when you use whiteouts, you gotta remember to crack a window. You want a visual aid? Let me draw you a pie chart. This is how Daryl McPherson is spending his life. This is time spent raising my precious baby daughter, and the rest is a big bunch of nothing. Wow, you spend that much time with your kid? Well, let me tell you, I'm not going to waste another second of my life on meaningless paper shuffling and petty office politics. Family, I have an important announcement to make. Today, Daryl McPherson's eyes were oh, open. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, that's really burning. Yeah, well, anyway, I went in today and told my boss I... What's that tie made of? Uh, I think it's a blend. That can't be healthy. What were you saying? You've been wanting to go back to work? Well, let me tell oh, you. Oh, hang on. It's the smoke alarm. OK, what's so important? You're going back to work. <gasps> I'm going to take care of Zoe and run the house. <laughs> going on a business sale. Going on a business sale. Shelby. Move it, Buster. It's time to get up. How could people not want this stuff? I wonder where's the baby. Daryl's watching her. Why are you closing your store? Look around. Everything that was here on opening day is still here. Except my enthusiasm and will to live.
So what's new? I'm going to start my own business. That's great. You'll love it. I'm going to do that idea we talked about. The robot store? No, the nap store. Oh, right. Well, I hope you have better luck than me. Next time a talking clam comes to me in a dream and commands me to open a knick-knack shop, I'm going to tell him to shove it. Melinda, how would you like to go into business together? You and me? Sure. You've got the store, I've got the idea, and I miss you. Oh, Wanda, I'd love to. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Is it 9 o'clock already? No, that one's a little fast. There you go. Dynamite! It's 9 o'clock! Ah. Hey, Mr. Mac. So you're really going through with this stay-at-home thing, huh? That's right, Busy. I reordered my priorities, and this little lady came out on top. Uh-huh. So you need me to watch Zoe this afternoon? That won't be necessary. I now realize that an hour away from my daughter is an hour wasted. Whatever. 902. I want to remember that time, <laughs> Zoe. It's the moment my life truly begins. <laughs> I guess you could watch her for a little while. So, you didn't say anything about my meatloaf. Huh? Oh, is that what we had? My mind was so much on work, I guess I didn't notice. I guess you didn't. Oh, here comes our commercial! You kids are driving me crazy! If only there was a place where tired moms could get the rest they deserve. Now there is. Wow! Wanda McPherson, co-president of the Nap Nook. Wait, if she knows about the Nap Nook, how come she's wishing for a place to... Shh. Our plush, comfortable, and soundproof sleep chambers are the perfect escape from the pressures of home. Sweet dreams. It's an hour later. Let's see how our mom is doing. Thank you, Nap Nook. I feel great. No one's gonna fall for that. Our testing says otherwise. Mom, it's Thursday, and your Valium bottle's only half empty. With my new well-rested positive attitude, I'd say that bottle is half full. Honey, you watch the kids all day, and yet here you are, ready for loving. What's your secret? So take a break from teaching ABCs and come and grab some XYZs at the Nap Nook. And the first 10,000 customers get a free souvenir clamshell. This is so exciting. Mmm. What are you doing? Come on, I want to celebrate. There's a Lifetime Channel original movie I want to watch. So leave the TV on. I don't mind. Wanda, I've been taking care of the baby all day, and I'm really not in the mood. You'll get there. You know, I'm not just some business deal you can close. I have feelings. Fine. Besides, I feel fat. Thank you. Your next Z is on we. You know, Melinda, business has picked up so much, I'm thinking we should expand into other areas. We're gonna start selling robots? No. I thought we could add a coffee cart. Oh, that's a great idea. And you know who we could get to serve the coffee? Robots? No, teenagers who work for minimum wage. Robots can't serve coffee. Robots.
King me. Hi, Carl. Oh, hey, Daryl. Pull up a tire. I can't. Zoe and I have tumble time at Mommy and Me. Uh, don't you have sprinklers to install? <laughs> <laughs> uh, get him. I'm retired, Daryl. Now that my wife's bringing home the bacon, I'm free to model my life after my idol, Presley. Elvis Presley? No, oh, Vernon Presley. Elvis's dad. The day Hound Dog hit number one, he quit his job, never worked another day in his life. You carry his picture with you? Keeps me on track. Dad, when I grow up, can I be a sponger like you? That would make me mighty proud, son. But don't you find it exhausting watching the kids all day? Yeah, they pretty much watch themselves. <laughs> hey, Rodney, you want to shut that door? Zoe did something cute today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we were at the park playing in the sand, and there was this caterpillar making his way slowly across the box, step by step, inch by inch. And I thought I would introduce Zoe to old Mr. Caterpillar. So I said, Madam, it gives me great pleasure to present my good friend. Does this story have anything resembling a point? <sighs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't be mad. Don't tell me how to feel. Kenny, would you get out of here? I'm trying to work. <sighs> Put that down, you idiot. No, I don't want to hear about your stupid golf game. <laughs> hey, Kenny, good to see you. I don't remember him ever saying that. Captain! Just came by to say hi. I miss you so much. I haven't had anyone to talk to. Hundreds of people work here. They don't like me as much as you. <laughs> Jeez, Captain, you look awful. Well, it's a big job being a full-time parent, but the rewards are beyond measure. Parenting has rewards? Oh, yeah. When Zoe's little fist opens, it's like a... like a flower, uh, blooming. Since when has Toledo been taking delivery on consignment? Walcott's brainchild. That's crazy! It's a straight intercompany transfer. We should be booking that revenue. I knew it! You've still got the fever. Admit it! <sighs> yeah, the truth is I'd love to come back to work. But Wanda's business is doing so well. How can I take away her dream? I hate this! I hate this! The more successful we become, the harder we have to work. Zoe's always asleep by the time I get home. That must make you feel bad. No, that's just the problem. I'm glad she's asleep. I'm relieved that I don't have to deal with my own daughter. And that makes me feel terrible. I'm lucky. My kids are up till 2 or 3 in the morning. Plenty of time to be a great mom. What good is getting everything you want if you hate the person you become? Wanda, if you want to go back home, I'd be happy to buy you out. Should we say eight cents on the dollar? I can't. Daryl's so into being a full-time dad. How can I take that away from him? What do you mean I have to watch Zoe all afternoon? I'm sorry, I have a term paper due, and this guy won't write it for me unless I sit across the table from him in my pajamas. Oh, well, as long as your life's fine. Look, I don't have time for a cat fight right now. The geek's waiting outside. But I need my me time. Well, I need an A in ethics. And so we are confident that Napnook Global Services Unlimited will lead American industry as we cross the bridge into the 21st century. Any questions? Well, no, 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 Matt, do you plan to expand into China? Last time I checked, communist mothers need sleep like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true you and your partner are gay lovers? What? Howard Stern rules! <laughs> Yeah, well, you tell the Attorney General the only monopoly I know comes in a box. And if she gets in my way, I'm gonna put her in a box. We need to buy a shredder. I think we sell them on the fourth floor. See you later. I gotta go sue the Napateria. Time's up. Hello? Daryl? Wanda? What are you doing here? I needed a nap. If I don't have one, I get all weepy and fragile. Like I used to get? Yeah, I knew it was cute. Hmm. I haven't had a good cry since our sushi chefs went union. Daryl, can I ask you something? Sure. Oh, maybe it's silly. Okay, forget it. No, I'll ask. Now that you've tried both, which do you prefer, working or staying home? Well... 
there are good things and not as good things involved with Please each. say working. Working? Well, then let's go back. Really? I can found a multinational corporation anytime, but Zoe's only going to be a baby once. <gasps> so are you really okay walking away from all this? We've been thinking about selling anyway. We got an offer from the Disney people. No kidding. Yeah, they're going to add a daycare center and put up pictures of all their beloved characters. That's great. Plus, they said if we didn't accept, they'd crush us. <laughs>